I'll just start this video by saying that it seems like KMD can't catch a break. Nvidia has just announced their newest DLSS implementation called the LSS 3.5, which is basically focusing now on the ray tracing reconstruction and is actually better than native when we're talking about ray tracing quality. And man, this is a huge slap on AMD's face. Like today's sponsor, but on prices. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. While we're still waiting to hear anything from AMD about FSR 3, apart from a few seconds of footage, and of course Intel's XCSS going open source, the LSS 3 already supports over 30 games and apps. And like it or not, it is always better to have the option to use a technology than to have no option at all. And like this wasn't enough, Nvidia is now making things even worse for the AMD side, now releasing the LSS 3.5. That not only delivers performance gains over the traditional LSS 3, but also better image quality in ray tracing scenarios, and all thanks to the ray tracing reconstruction that seems to be an improved version of Nvidia's real-time denoiser. And while this isn't relevant for most players, mostly the native resolution players, well, upscaling technologies are indeed the future. And even though they're still far from perfect, they will most likely reach a point where they look as good as native resolution. Well, actually, with the LSS 3.5, ray tracing scenarios actually look better than native, which is something that I wouldn't expect at least in the next 5 years. The biggest focus of the LSS 3.5 versus the previous generations is the denoiser, and that's exactly what the ray tracing reconstruction is about. A denoiser is basically a technology that game developers use to reduce the grainy spots and image discoloration, usually on the darker portions of the image. This is a commonly used method in recent game engines, but it was found to strip away essential data required for upscaling. And the most traditional methods can also cause inaccurate lighting effects due to the accumulation of pixels from the previous frames that often result in movement artifacts, also known as ghosting. And well, even a well-implemented denoiser running upscalers will always deliver lower global illumination quality and lower reflection quality, as there isn't enough data for interpolation, which is what frame generation does, as it creates frames based on the previous ones. So to solve these issues, Nvidia claims that the LSS 3.5 has been trained on 5 times more data than the LSS 3 and incorporates additional game and software engine data to recognize various ray tracing effects and distinguish good and bad temporal and spatial pixels, preserving the good data for upscaling. So to give you the juice of the matter, the LSS 3.5 will not only give you higher FPS than the LSS 3 in the same particular scenario, but will always but will always not always, but will also give you better overall quality in ray tracing scenarios. So the ray tracing effects will be much better since it is trained on 5 times more data when doing that same upscaling. And it looks better than native because native does not have those 5 times more data, because even though you're running higher resolution, it, is still, it still isn't 5 times more pixels. So yeah, that's crazy actually, that's actually crazy. I take my hat off to, to Nvidia. And on top of that, it even seems that the LSS 3.5 can be indeed used on older RTX GPUs. So if you're running an RTX 2000, 3000 and so on, although you can't use the frame generation, you can indeed use the upscaling technique uh, of the LSS 3.5 that will deliver better ray tracing quality. So even though uh, you're not using the frame generation, you can still have slightly higher FPS numbers while still having better quality ray tracing. So it's more quality and higher FPS. This, this is something really hard to pull off. Uh, but it seems but it seems at least so, so far that Nvidia was able to do it and it is very very interesting and definitely a step in the right direction very nice so we're talking about a win-win situation for Nvidia the LSS users and a major disappointment for the AMD ones and you guys know me I'm all for the market battle because that is usually what is best for the end for the end user due to the the battle of prices and so on so it is usually better for the end user. 
but even if AMD releases FSR 3 with Starfield, they will now be behind in terms of games supported, but it will also be behind in terms of upscaling quality, even comparing to the most recent version of Intel's XCSS, and will be behind in terms of ray tracing performance. And now, also behind in terms of ray tracing quality. So if AMD was working hard, well, they have to work even harder now to be able to catch up with Nvidia. That's crazy. The LSS 3.5 will be available at its launch for Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, Portal RTX, Alan Wake 2, Nvidia Omniverse, Chaos Reigned and D5 Render. And this is great for the tech evolution for sure, but very bad for the current market because if AMD keeps falling behind at every year that passes in regards to upscaling and ray tracing, more and more people will feel forced to change to Nvidia once more, and will obviously need to pay the well-known Nvidia tax that Nvidia will now justify with their awesome technologies that, uh, well, that the competition can't actually pull off. And with this, I feel kind of divided, because I feel excited for the new technologies that are, that are coming, the new technologies and the new improvements that are coming, but at the same time, I'm kind of worried for for the future of the, well, of the cheapest mainstream market GPUs, because if this keeps happening, the, the GPU prices will indeed scale up, because Nvidia is having like 1000% margin of profit, uh, profit, sorry, with AI GPUs, selling AI GPUs, and if this keeps going on, well, Nvidia will just start scaling up the, the prices of the mainstream market, the gaming GPUs as well, and things will get very, very bad. So, yes, as I told you, I'm quite divided, but nonetheless, it is always good to have new features. With this all said, let's just hope that AMD actually releases FSR 3 and that releases new uh, and better options in terms of, of features and they kind of find their way to push through and forward to, um, because that's what we actually need to keep the competition alive and keep GPU prices going down. Yeah. And well guys, that's all for this video, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and leave your comment in the comment section letting me know what you think about the LSS3. Uh, I personally, and you know that I'm usually pending more to the AMD side, I'm no fanboy like I told you several times because being a fanboy is basically being an idiot. It all makes sense now. You can be a fan, but you can't be a fanboy or you shouldn't be a fanboy because that makes no sense. Uh, because brands don't care about you. Although, why should you care about brands that much, at least? Um, and you guys know that I uh, that I am indeed an AMD fan, but things aren't looking very well from, for AMD because, well, Nvidia just released the LSS3, which, like it or not, brings something new to the table, and uh, with up to 30 games supported, FSR3 is just coming out now, most likely with Starfield, and it still needs to be worked on. We don't know if the quality will be equal or at least close to... Um, to frame generation from Nvidia and now Nvidia just puts another nail on AMD's coffin and releases uh, the LSS 3.5 that has better ray tracing quality than native. That's insane. That's insane. Well, once again, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.